Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. Um, thanks for watching. And today we're going to make a short video on my light deck connections. Uh, Jordan requested that, so I'll just uh, say what I did. And um, this is my first light deck project, so right or wrong, this is what I did. So maybe you can learn from that and come up with a better way. So I'll make a short video on this and we'll get this out to you. Okay, down in the basement. Um, so where the light deck meets the ICF wall here, I just screwed a tube of six, what I had laying around, to the ICF wall. And the light jack is just it's sitting on that tube of six and the ICF foam. So we'll go up there in a minute. But the only thing I have not done yet is I'm going to add some tube of fours here going down to the basement floor. So I don't, I've got screws there, two screws every. 16 inches going in that two by six, but we're just at a two by four just for extra safety. So down here, and then that is basically all I did, except at the very beginning over here. Let's see. The second piece, um, I screwed that block of wood there to the steel stud. And, oh, I know what I did. It's coming back to me now. I had a brain fart there for a little bit. I have to get my tape measure to point. So I kept, I was up there uh, on top pushing them together and they kept going too far to the south. So I put a string up to make sure and get the second one completely straight. And then I, if you've noticed, I was pretty much always by myself. So I, I came down here, I screwed this block on here and then I screwed, there's a screw right there at the end of my tape measure. So I did that, oh, like six places. I think every um, temporary beam and then I could push up from up top that way when I put the third one on fourth one on so on and so forth I didn't keep pushing them all so I screwed a block on there and a screw on there now that is all I did because I was one person by myself if I would have had a crew of four or five I would have had probably one person down here the whole time and we could have screwed some, made some L brackets with some steel or bottom at Lowe's and we could have screwed L brackets there onto each beam to hold them down better. But when you're by yourself, you have to pick and choose some things and you just can't do everything. I would have been up and down way too often and uh, I just chose not to do that. And I am counting on gravity to hold all this down is fine and I've got three tons of rebar up there now and there's gonna be another half ton, almost another whole ton actually to go up there. So I'm just counting on rebar and gravity to hold all my forms in place while we pour I did not choose to uh, mechanically fasten them anywhere down here, none whatsoever. So I just used those blocks, like I said, I'm repeating myself, so I could push to the south and get them tight. And then I just kept pushing them manually. So I need to spray foam uh, that little gap there, right there and down here. Um, and you know, a couple air anywhere I see light, I need to spray foam. 
So I did one more thing and then I'll go up top and I need to spray foam there. Everywhere the light deck rests on the steel I-beam, I cut the foam out with a hot knife so I could have concrete directly in contact with the steel I-beam. So I'll go up there now and finish this video up there and get you updated what we're doing. Okay, so we're up top and I'll just set the camera out. There's our vertical and horizontal whalers and formwork on the outside. We come in here to the inside. Here's my steel beam, or steel channel, not beam. And steel on that side, one on that side. So, before I carried these in, I cut the light deck back, the foam part of it, carried them in, and they just rest on the ICF. You can see the, I call it green, some people call it blue, the ICF down there. And they're just resting on their gravity. I did not mechanically fasten them in any way. Um, and left the steel channels as long as I could so they can be embedded in the concrete good. Um, that's about it. And then I cut this back at an angle to have a thicker, this will be a thickened edge beam here on top of that concrete. So this next pour will be to the top right here. And then I'll start my ICF's uh, first floor walls on top of that. So what I've been working on is rebar. So I carried in three tons of rebar and I'll insert that video here. Hey, I misspoke. I said carried in three tons of rebar. I already did that in a previous video. This is me putting the stirrups in. So I got, after I got that all carried in, then with my rebar delivery way back when, if you watch that video, when we got 11 tons of rebar delivered in May, um, I had 430 of these made. I call these stirrups. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions on them. But I need to get them installed. That's what I'm doing on the video there. So I, I carry my rebar in. Then I slide these stirrups in place. And I'll just take a video of... I've got about a fourth of the stirrups in. And I'm really battling in my mind if I'm doing... If I want the stirrups like that or like that because they're gonna uh, not be fun if I need to change them but anyways let me see if I can do it with one hand there'll be two rows of rebar pulled up and tied to the top of the stirrup and two rows of rebar down there hanging from the stirrup and then this stirrup be tied, can't videotape and do it, up to the rebar that sits on here. So there'll be a uh, number three rebar up here after the pecs, 16 inches on center. So I have to get all this rebar in and then the pecs is coming tomorrow and then lay down all the pecs and all the zones and then I can do the top rebar. So this week is pecs and rebar. Um, we're probably still two weeks out for the pour just because I'm a one-man show here. And uh, 
a lot of stuff to do yet. Uh, so plumber's coming tomorrow. Uh, like there's a toilet right here. So we're going to figure out the, all those um, dimensions and get the toilets in where they need to be and everything. And there's a toilet right there and one right here in this room, the powder room. And uh, so that's, I think, all I'm going to do for today's video. And uh, hope that helps. A little bit and I'm sure there's many ways to do this this is uh, what I'm working on at this time so uh, yeah leave me a comment if you need me to change something or got some ideas and uh, we'll keep going and uh... thanks for watching everybody we'll catch you on the next one go make it a great day